Whoa, something doesn't feel right. Everything seems shaky. It's definitely not an earthquake, and it's actually getting worse. The clouds seem to move quicker than usual, and the animals are going into a frenzy. The news anchor pops up on the TV in an alarmed tone and says, Good morning. We're sorry to interrupt your program. Scientists have just discovered that the Earth's rotation has been fluctuating at an unusual rate. A group of specialists believe that the Earth is increasing its rotation with every second, and they don't know why. Even if the Earth increased its speed by one mile per hour, the day would only get shorter by a minute and a half or so. We wouldn't really feel it, and you could go on like nothing is happening. But as the Earth spins faster, our bodies, which are adjusted to a 24-hour timing, will have a hard time trying to cope with it. If you live by the equator, that means the rotation of the Earth is going quicker than at the North and South Pole. The area by the equator needs more time in order to complete its full rotation from the starting point. You'll experience more rain than usual. The Earth's rotation keeps the weather consistent and balanced so that nothing abnormal happens. But because the Earth is moving so fast, the weather is acting up. We'll start to see more storms and more cozy days inside, sipping on hot cocoa. Even though it seems weird, everyone can go about their day. But if the Earth picked up some speed and moved at 150 feet per second, the day would be reduced to only 22 hours. It kind of makes you feel jet-lagged 24-7. Every business works with the 24 hours a day schedule, so taking away even 2 hours can have catastrophic effects on the world economy. The whole calendar will have to change and adjust to the new timing. Clock designs will change with the new midnight, replaced with 10 o'clock. And with each week, the hours will shorten, so there will be no proper way of telling time except by sunsets and sunrises. The weather will continue to get worse and worse, feeling like the rain will never stop. The animals that rely on weather patterns won't know how to function, and mass migrations will occur from almost all species of animals. Flocks of birds will be flying everywhere and reach places they normally won't go to, affecting the whole food chain and ecology. Woods, jungles, and other places where animals roam are kept in proper balance when unaffected by humans. If it constantly rains in certain areas, then floods will force animals to move to other territories and compete with the predators in the area. If the Earth picked up speed every day, then standing on a scale in the Arctic would tell you you weigh 180 pounds. But around the equator, you might weigh about 179 pounds. That's because of the extra force opposing gravity in that area. With the Earth spinning faster, all airlines around the world stop, since the radar systems have gone haywire and the weather is too dangerous to fly. Everyone has to get around by car. Satellites are positioned in such a way that it's crucial they remain where they are in order to bounce signals to us. Because of what's happening, Wi-Fi and TV signals can't go through. Communications around the world will end up short and slow. And eventually, we'll have a total communication blackout. Ships will cease to operate and global trading will collapse, adding extra damage to the already failing world economy. Winds will get stronger and faster than usual, which means temperatures will change. Storms, like hurricanes, will be stronger than ever and have more energy for destruction. And still, at 100 miles per hour, the equator will now be swallowed up in the water. The Amazon basin and small islands will now completely submerge in water by around 50 feet. Most of the plant life will be in danger, especially by the equator. With woods threatened by floods, more animal environments will be in jeopardy. The trees and plants won't survive so much flooding. If the Earth rotated so fast that the hours would now be reduced to 15, then we'd probably feel like we're always on a jet plane going through turbulence. It would be impossible to sleep if the Earth kept picking up speed every second of the day. So days would be around 7 hours long as well as nights. The whole world would be flooded, except for the highest points and the tallest mountains. If that happens, humans will most likely end up there clinging to the last remaining clear patches of land. Most of the animal life will be extinct as well. 
And as the Earth is spinning faster and faster, the crust will lose its durability, allowing more frequent and stronger earthquakes to happen. Volcanoes will erupt all over, even if they're submerged in water. It'll go on like this for quite a while. Many major natural disasters like earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes, and even melting ice sheets have sped up the speed of the Earth by milliseconds. So, with the Earth's continuing speed increasing, these natural disasters will make the planet go even faster. Even if it's just for milliseconds, it's enough to have major consequences. The Earth is now spinning at 1,000 miles per hour. And as you're sitting with the rest of the survivors, you feel yourself levitating slightly. You'll see tiny pebbles and rocks floating inches from the ground. The clouds above you are passing like shooting stars. The air is thick with moisture, since water is rising to the top, forming thick clouds ready to pour. But since gravity is weaker, some of the rain is suspended in the air. Many small objects will be floating around as if you were in space. The days and nights won't be longer than a few hours. At this point, the whole world will be flooded, and the crust will be 80% gone. If it goes on any longer, there won't be any living things around, probably except for microscopic creatures that can withstand extreme and harsh conditions. The Earth would need to spin at approximately 17,600 miles per hour to cancel out the gravity for things to start floating around. At this point, all the water in the ocean will rise and look like reverse rain. The large mountain rocks will separate from the bedrock and levitate above the ground, looking like little planets in space. The Earth is now spinning 17 times faster than usual, which makes one full rotation around its axis only 84 minutes instead of 24 hours. If you manage to stay that long, then you'll literally see the days and nights go by in an instant. You'll also be floating aimlessly in the sky, bumping into rocks and other surfaces. You won't recognize anything anymore. The Earth's crust is ripping apart, exposing the magma underneath. So landing on the ground isn't an option. You'll see outer space as you go higher and higher. You won't know how fast you're going, but all you know is that you're probably the only human left in this spinning world. The Earth will eventually spin so fast that the rest of the layers will start to peel off, exposing the Earth's interior. It'll start to squeeze itself from the core until it becomes similar to a pancake. Nothing can survive at this point. So much heat will be produced from the core that the planet will heat up like a microwave. All the water will disappear, and it'll look like a red dot in the solar system. And once it starts to approach the speed of light, time will freeze. The rocks and floating elements won't move and will eventually be distorted. And with enough effort, the Earth will eventually turn into a black hole. Of course, nothing like this will ever happen. According to scientists, Earth will most likely slow down in rotation. Ever since the Moon came into the picture, the Earth has been slowing down by around 4 miles per hour every 10 million years or so. That's because of the Moon's gravitational pull on our little blue planet. It'll most likely go on that way. So hey, what's your hurry?